Hey everyone, this is uh, Nathan here to show you some more stuff about Rigify. I've added a couple of new features and I want to show it to you. I also have Ian Hubert of Project London fame here, because he is very kindly letting me stay at his place for a while. Hello. That, that was Ian. L hello. That, that was Ian again. Um, so, I showed him this earlier and he hated it. He thought it was terrible. He thought it was... He actually, he actually vomited on the keyboard, wasn't he? Now, now you're shy. We recorded this once before, and he thought I was doing a test. <laughs> and so he said all kinds said, of really nasty I things. Said horrible things. He said really horrible things, and it was awesome. But then it turned out that I had the volume too high, and the sound was all clipping and stuff. So, Anyway, let's actually show you some stuff. So let us add an armature, and we're going to delete the bone, the, the default bone, because we don't need it. Um, and if you go to the armature properties, there's a new panel uh, called Rigify Buttons. And uh, you can select any of the rig types and hit Add Sample, and it will add a, uh, a sample of that rig. Um, so all you have to do then is... Let me turn on wire and x-ray so we can actually see the bones. And all you have to do is uh, just position it uh, to, and to your, uh, your character. the whole thing. Well, but then it'll be longer and it might not fit on YouTube. Besides, it, it, people don't... don't. I, I could act... Okay, I, ha I have a plan. Okay, okay. okay, I have a plan. Anyway, okay, so then we add the leg, kind of do the same thing. Do, 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 do. I am positioning it to the character. And... There we go. And then let's... Uh, oops. And then let's add a spine. Oh, that's probably good enough. And then we can just parent uh, the rig types together, however you want them to be parented together. Uh, so we can parent the arm to the chest and the leg to the hips. And then we can just hit generate, just like last time. Okay, let me move the meta rig out of the way. And so now have, here we have the, ge the, the generated rig. And uh, let's just do a quick automatic weighting so we can see what happens. Um, and okay, so now we have the rig. And this is pretty much like I showed before in the last video, uh, but it was a lot faster to create. Um, and uh, one of the benefits of this sort of uh, sample system uh, where you can just add samples, is that it shows you what the structure of the rig that you need to make is, uh, or what the structure of the rig type is. So, for example, uh, the well, like the arm is really obvious; it's just a chain of three bones. Uh, but the leg is less obvious. You have the thigh, then the shin, then you have the foot and the toe and the heel, and they all need to be parented together in a very specific configuration. Uh, so that keeps both you and me from having to remember what those configurations are when you're using the system. Uh, anyway, it's, it's quite nice. Um, also, uh, you can just kind of show the flexibility of the system. You can create, you know, pretty much whatever you want uh, in, in terms of rigs. So we can have a three-armed, two-legged rig. There we go if you want. doesn't matter. Uh, you can put it together however you want. It's just like assembling pieces of things together. Um, but since our character is not like that, we're going to stick to this. Okay. Um, okay, Ian, here's my plan. Okay. The thing is, in this file, I actually already have a much better rig here. <laughs> so I'm going to... that I made before. It's like a cooking show. Um, so, uh, anyway, ooh, and I'm going to need to reparent this. Ooh, see, even, even Ian Hubert thinks it's amazing. How crazy is that? Okay, um, so if you recall from last time, the IK switch on the, uh, arm rig only appears on the IK hand, uh, and it appears under properties, and that's kind of annoying, because ideally you'd like to be able to, uh, change it on, you know, if you have any part of the arm selected. So, Rigify now creates 
a UI script. Uh, so this is auto-generated by, uh, by Rigify. And if you run this, then we get uh, this panel here. And basically, uh, if you select any part of the rig, all of the relevant properties to that will pop up. So if you select any part of this arm, um, the IKFK switch will show up. If you select any part of the FK arm, the uh, isolate rotation thing will come up. Uh, isolate rotation is like the what I now call the hinge property. Um, and uh, so if we turn that on, for example, now the arm does not follow the rotation of its parent. That's what isolate rotation means. Um, I kind of stole that labeling from uh, Bassam. Bassam is awesome. Anyway, um, but yeah, so it's just it's a very convenient sort of uh, thing. All of the properties that you need to be able to manipulate at your fingertips in this uh, rig main properties panel, and uh, it's all auto generated. Um, the only reason I had to run the script was because we just generated it. Um, it's actually set up. Uh, this register thing is clicked by default when it gets generated, and whenever you load the file, it will automatically run. Uh, so, anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope I hope this really impresses some people, like Ian Hubert. Yes. Getting his yes. Brain. I'm sure there's there's better systems out there, but this is my system, and I like it. Um, and it will be coming to a blender near you. So, uh, anyway, I hope you like that. Is that, is that really a Bye. System?